Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. My account officer will work it out. Mm. You're a darling. So thank, thank you. you. So what last did you speak to your mother? Oh, um, just two days ago. What okay, I spoke to next before the rest. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you for you anything to make you happy? As long as you promise to keep being good. Alright? Because I will. Baby, I want us to talk. I'm sorry about what happened in the morning. But you know, you didn't have to badge him like that. That was not nice. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you coming last night, so when I woke up this morning, I just ran to your room. I didn't know you had a visitor. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. And I'm equally sorry for the way my girl spoke to you. Okay, so tell me, what will I do to make it up to you? Um, why don't you go for shopping today, swimming tomorrow, then we we'll visit Auntie Bottini on Sunday. Auntie Bottini on Sunday. Um, I would think about that. No, you're not thinking about it. You said whatever I want, right? Okay, so now you're... You are trying to use me now. Okay, fine. Why don't I go to work and come back then? We go for shopping. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. My king, my father asked me to come and see you because I'm now the new managing director of the company. It will be my pleasure to be working with you, sir. You're welcome. You are now a man. I have never doubted your potential for one day. You are a very responsible young man. I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much, your majesty. Congratulations. Thank you. This Definitely calls for celebration. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. And what is my king about to celebrate without the queen? Oh, my you're here. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. What are you trying to celebrate? My king here yeah, just achieved a wonderful feat. He is now the managing director of the family company. So really? That's what he came to share with us. Oh, congratulations, my dear. Thank you so much, my queen. Have you told my daughter? I noticed it, my queen. Oh. I want to do it personally when she returns up fully. So, speaking of the princess, we would like you to pick her up from the airport tomorrow. Nine o'clock to be precise. That was her arrangement. And I believe you will consent to that too. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much, my queen. With all pleasure. Ah. I, I beg to take my leave now. I have one or two things to tidy up on my table. Thank you so much. It's okay. My regards to your parents. Thank you very much. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? You will definitely make a wonderful husband. Do you trust him that much? Yes, of course. I have done lots of business with the family for so long and we never had any issue. So our daughter is making the best choice of her life. Trust me in that. If you say so, my, my lord. Oh. Did I sound? I just don't say so. I know so. <laughs> I know you know that. So let's go and eat. Carry me. Yeah. 
You know how much I've missed you, right? I've missed you more, baby. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I yeah. am. So, what's going on? Mm, I'm just fine. <laughs> okay. So, you know what I would have wanted right now? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> no one, baby. Sure. You look so pretty. Let me see that. Hey, baby. Hey, I'm on a video call. Excuse me. Sorry. Who is that? Ah, uh, baby, uh, is my cousin sister. She came around last week. She plays too much. Do I know her? Uh, no, you don't know her, baby. Uh, so, what do I keep for you upon your return? Uh, nothing, baby. Don't worry, you will make it when I return, okay? I like it fresh, you know. <laughs> so, um... Okay, baby, um, please, will you be able to come pick me up from the airport tomorrow? Or are you going to be busy with work? That's not a problem. I'll do that. You know I love you, right? I just can't. I guess that's the reason you love me so much. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. All right. See you tomorrow. I've got to go. Okay. So do take care of yourself. You too. Be good for me, huh? Sure. All right, baby. To be home again. Yeah, you can <laughs> say that again. At least I am just so proud and happy to see your handsome face. Mm, I have missed you so much, darling. <laughs> I missed you more, I'm you know. I'm so it. excited to see your beautiful face. So, um, how about your parents? Um, dad and mom, they are fine. They were so excited. Oh, well, you know I was more excited right? <laughs> <laughs> I really can't wait to see them. And of course, let's get home. I have a lot of things to say to you. Yeah, baby. Oh, you mean you've got a lot to share with me? Yes. Stop <laughs> it. I miss you so much. Baby. I miss you more, my love. I really do. Oh. Yep. Oh. So you know that feelings? That's feelings. When you've been long. Baby, <laughs> honestly, I missed you from I my heart. I missed you life. more, baby. <sighs> mm, so tell me, how has it been over there? Oh, it's been beautiful. It's been, um, you know, being in another man's land and trying to adjust to their uh, style of living and uh, everything. So. But it's fine, it's been great. Okay. You've been doing it. Watch that way for me. Okay, you can go now. It's free. Okay, baby. I am very happy that you are finally back home to Nigeria after seven years of absence. Thank you, Father. 
I am so happy to see you. See, calls you are not enough. We needed to see you here yes. so we can baby you and <laughs> feed you. Mother. Yes. I missed both of you so much. Honestly, I missed you too. Oh, we missed you too. As for taking care of mother, I am not a child anymore. I can take good care of myself, so... <laughs> really? Meanwhile, I missed your food, mother. I did. So yeah. you're going to eat a lot of food. In fact, I'm going to overfeed you because it must wait. Uh, she's very correct. Speaking about taking care of... Mike is here to always take care of you if you don't want us to take care of you anymore. Mm -hmm. Mike, am I right? You're right, Your Majesty. I can do anything for you. Mm. Um, Father, you wouldn't believe what happened to me the first time I saw someone eating raw fish in the US. I practically threw up everything oh. in my system. And I couldn't sleep as well. It was weird. Ew. You know some people eat raw fish. As you stay there, you do get used to, used to it, right? I don't be wondering if you eat the fish with them, I don't know. Yes, mother. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. No, I did not, but I just <laughs> had to get used to this situation and that's it. All that best is. Mother. What can I have to do with my crown? Oh, sorry. Sorry, mother. It's okay. I feel like eating everything here. I'm going to eat something. Okay. Just <laughs> so, Mother, mm -hmm. what of Queen Kate? I have not seen her since I returned. Um, she traveled, but she's away, you're here. You will soon join us. Oh. Be something else to have made it this beautiful. Ha. Thank you. How so was your trip yesterday? It was beautiful. I asked after you, but I was told you went out. I made a little trip. I missed your welcome back party. Are <laughs> you pardon? Of course, my queen. <laughs> wow. We can always have another party, you know. Seems you're going out. Oh, yes, I'm hurrying to somewhere. Oh, oh. Please be careful. Be very careful and make sure you come back on time. <laughs> Thank you. Because I don't want anything to happen. See you when I get back. Why are you not in bed? I was waiting for you to come back so I could serve you. Prepared your meal. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was going to stay out this late. Just get me chilled water, okay? Oh, no, no, no. Well, um, how's your family? Oh, we're doing very well. We're doing very well. So how about you? Well, uh, we're fine. We're just, uh, 
Janae's my officer of this home. Okay, you didn't go to work today? No, no, no. Thank you. Ah, Auntie, we had plans of visiting you tomorrow, but since you're here, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. I'm doing very well. So, how is your brother treating you? He's doing his best, and we are happy. You said he's doing his best by coming home late at night, you mean? Oh, Auntie, please. Huh. Don't say that. I'm doing my best by trying to stop coming home late at night. That's also like doing my best. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is because Debbie should move to my house. Because she's a young girl that needs training and care. So, Rumi, if you cannot take care of her, then send her to me. I'm sorry, I cannot grant that. Um, Debbie is my only sister. And she's the only important person close to me. Auntie, please let me stay with him. He's doing his best. He has promised to change. I trust he will. Please. What are you saying about marriage? Or oh, he's still trying to change. Please, can you just take a chill pill? You just got here. You need to eat food as well and rest. Auntie, we have fresh fish, pepper soup and agidi. Let me make it hot for you. So you for, you for bribing me with the... Uh, Fish and I give you know that is my favorite. Okay. Let me just have a test of that. Okay. You like the food? Mm. It's so yummy. I love it. No more spices. It's natural. I like it. A I'm lot. glad you do. <laughs> this food was supposed to come with water. What is still keeping it? That shouldn't be a problem. I think dinner will be headstrong. So let's eat. Eat up. <laughs> what happened to the water? Did we have to wait for a time to walk into the water? Will you shut up? You, you, you left me here and attended to those low lives. Are you stupid or something? My girl! Stupid me. We, we are in public. The water is here now. This girl is doing her job. I think you should let this go. Cherry, on whose side are you? This girl did something wrong. And you're here taking sides with her. You, you just embarrass me. What is this? Did you just ask her to leave? Oh, shut up! Shut up! Michael? Michael? So how did the meeting go? Very, very well. It was tough having an issue, but oh. they had to listen to me at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I know. I trust you. Yes. Oh. So they all kept quiet. Yes, they did. Princess. <laughs> Father. Thank you, Father. Mother, Father, I was watching both of you from a distance and trust me, I love the way that makes you happy. I saw you blushing and oh, I was like, oh. I love the love that both of you share, Mother. Father, I would love to have a man like you as my husband. When I am ready. <laughs> when I am ready. When you are ready, you said. Well, your mother is happy because she married at the right age huh? and to the right man. <laughs> the right man, you say, Father. But I am here to find the right man. So, what about Mike? Mike and his family 
are friends to this family. In fact, they are more than friends to us. That young man is handsome. He's hard working. And I know very well that he will take good care of you. Why not just give him a little chance? Your advice is a great one, mother. It is. But I want a man. I want a real man, not a babysitter, mother. Yes. As for being taken care of, I can take very good care of myself and both of you. So, um, I would appreciate it, mom, if we don't continue with this discussion. Father, I, I want to take a walk. I'll see you later. Excuse me. I really don't know what is wrong with young children all nowadays. They seem to be caught up with very unorthodox things. Things that will not add any value to their life. They think it's their way or the highway. Give her some time. You know, she will soon get used to this environment. You know, she just came back. Give her a little time, she will be fine. Why don't you go ahead and tell me about the meeting at the time you guys started and uh, how you dominated the whole environment. <laughs> like I told you, at the end of the day, I prevailed. Because I'm not an elder, exactly. You were the battle. <laughs> well, like I said, at the end, it's, uh, they have to listen to me. Hey, Mrs. Are you alright? It's mom and dad. What about them? Can you believe it? They're trying to hook me up with Michael. That's not possible. Exactly what I told them. No, that's not what I mean. What I'm trying to say is that I was thinking you like Mike and Mike likes you too. And both of you should be planning your marriage by now. Not again, my queen. Please. What have I said? You just said exactly what mom and dad said. Oh. And I don't like it. I'm sorry. You need to rest. Please go to your room. Thank you. Brother. Brother, change the channel. It's time for the match. Brother Romeo. Hmm? Yeah. What were you saying? I said you should change the channel or are we not seeing the match anymore? Oh, the match. Yes, uh, we are. Uh, get, get the TV remote. Okay. Then I, I don't know if we can have a conversation. At least for a few minutes. Before we see the match. So I'm thinking, won't it be preferable you go to stay with Auntie Botifer? Brother, are you seriously asking me that? I know you just want me to leave. No, not at all, my dear. I just want you to be happy. I just feel that place would be preferable for you. But I want to stay with you. I understand things are very hard. Just know that I'll always support you. Let me stay with you, please. Please. When you talk, I see our late mother in you. And it makes me want to cry. Don't even start. Please change the channel. Or let's just watch the recap till the new one starts. Hmm? But my team will still win, though. <laughs> we wish. Mm. I have been looking for you. I went to your room. You were in there. I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Can I have a seat? Sure, mother. Please go. 
So, mom, do you need? We don't want to join you, so I can send someone to get you a dress. Oh, sweet traffic, I do all that later. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Megan, please excuse us. Let's talk about this drink uh, later. I want us to talk about what happened yesterday. You see, my dear, um, in relationships, we do quarrel, we fight. But what you make out of it is what matters most. Mother. Yes. If you want us to talk about what happened yesterday, I am not in a good mood to discuss that right now. Oh, you are not in a good mood. We are never in a good mood to discuss anything. But we create the mood, my dear. I am your mother. If I don't fix things when they happen, it simply means that I'm not doing you any good. I want you and I to talk about that incident right now. Let's start it out. Mother. Yes. Michael is not my kind of man. What? He's too pompous, mother. He does not have regard for the common man. He wants to be on top of every little matter. And honestly, mother, I cannot deal with all of that. I just can't. I understand how you feel, my dear. Hello? This is Africa. He does all that because he's a man. Our men protect their own. He's actually doing all that to protect you. Sweetheart, you two have been so close before you traveled out of this country. You have known each other for long. Okay, if you can't forgive him for any other thing, forgive him for the fact that when you were so sick in this house, he took good care of you. Mother? Yes, sweetheart. So I will plead that you give this young man a little chance. That was then, mother. Then, you said? Have you forgotten that then you look for every opportunity to spend time with him? So what happens then that is not happening now? What changed? Mother, I've heard all that you said. <sighs> Thank you. So I suggest that you go over there and sort things out with him right now. Right now? Yes, now. Mother. Yes, princess. You know I can never say no to you, mother. <laughs> okay, I'll do just that. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You know I love you, mother. Mm, and you <laughs> are my everything. I love you too. Thank you, baby. Thanks. Mm. Okay, now we cannot talk about the juice. <laughs> I'm no longer giving you my juice already. Okay, uh, now that I'm in the mood. Uh, uh, I'm not giving you. Okay. <laughs> Papa, you just came in and you're leaving already. Oh, yes. Uh, Is it about what? We can, we can talk about it. Wait. Talk about it. Don't ask me what went wrong because I don't want to talk about it. But say what you just said means you want us to talk about it. <laughs> Tell me what is it? <laughs> Me 
Ghost Mother. Is that he lied to me? He lied to me because I remember talking to him on a video call. I saw the same lady and he told me that she's his cousin. Let me say that. Hey, hey, I'm on a video call. Excuse me. Sorry. Who is that? Ah, uh, baby, uh, is my cousin sister. She came around last week. She plays too much. Do I know her? Uh, no, you don't know her, baby. Uh, so, what do I keep for you upon your return? That means they've been having something all along. And he's been lying to me. He's been lying to me, mother. He's been lying to me. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's not. Please, I need a break, mother. I want to think. I I just need time to think. I, I just want to be fine. I'll be going out. I'll be back in it. Please. I'm so sorry. Hello, Charity. Oh, you're here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Do you know what? I went to tell you Norma, and she was forming intelligence for me. I don't get. To tell her what? About the princess now. Ha. What about the princess? Adure. Adure. I don't have time for your gossip this early morning. Please, as you can see, I am very, very busy. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? What do you want to tell me from you? Be stress in her head when the father has already established chains of business lined out for her for her future. And how is that your business? In fact, I like the princess for that. The young lady should be given the opportunity to quit her own wed, to live their dream, and impart it in society. I mean, not the other way around. Huh? Why are you sounding so bitter, girl? I just said I'm sorry. Are you stupid? Or you're just seeking for attention? Excuse you? Seek attention from you? Do you know who I am? Who the hell are you? You are stupid. Just get out of my way. You are imbecile. Face. Get out! What do you imagine? It's because I just said I'm... Get out! What the hell is this? 
Why are you talking to my man like that? Are you okay? Okay, okay. I've seen she wants some food. And I will give it to crazy you. Crazy bitch. Slut. out for a walk, father. I didn't mean to stay out that long. I am sorry. You are a princess. I don't need to remind you that a lot of people look up to you. Not only in this palace, but all over this kingdom. I want you to be a good role model to them. Sure, father. I am sorry once again. It will never repeat itself. Mother, mm -hmm. please forgive me. So, can I join you for breakfast? You can actually have this one. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. You have a nice sleep. Just hold it. It will help you. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I did. Just a little headache. But I'll be fine. I'll make a cup of tea. Trust me when I tell you that you will be fine. Mommy, it's hot. Mm. It's your hair. It's hot. It's, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna wake you up. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, baby. Ah, how was your night? Better than yours. I see. I don't even know how I managed to get home last night. Did I wake you up? No, you didn't. But you looked terrible this morning. What happened last night? Can I have your tea, please? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, whatever you want to talk about it, just let me know. I don't think I'll ever be ready to talk about it. Oh. Whatever. So you're working out? If I open this gate, don't, don't you know me? Who are you? Who are you? Are you the person that employed me here? My friend, will you come and open this gate? Look at me. Look at me. You're the for me. The princess said I should not open the gate for you. Don't you know me? Who are you? Who are you? Come on, open this gate for people who found you something bad. You know why for me? Will you open this gate? Come and open it by yourself. Gabriel, come and open this. I will not open it. Why will I open it? For the last time, open this gate. Jump this building. Jump this first and come and open it by yourself. No, no, no. You command me. You're talking back at me. Are you the person that employed me here? What is happening? What is happening there? Will you tell this man to open this gate before I pardon him? What, what will you do? Wait, 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 wait. You said I should open the gate. Uh, a princess said I should not open the gate for you. It's okay, it's okay. Allow him in. The king instructed that he should have, uh, you should allow him in. My yeah, friend, open this gate. Allow him in. Yeah, look. If you try this rubbish next time, I'll make sure the king fires you. My friend, show this gate. The people ask, has a place or what? Or one, who, or one of the cabinet members? I'm sorry. I don't really know what happened. Look, I was drunk.
You must be think that I am stupid or something. No, I am blind. I caught you on bed. Making love to the same lady you told me is your cousin. How do you explain that, Michael? My love, I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know how I... I, I don't know what came over me. Seriously, I, I, I was drunk and she took advantage of me. Please, let's not throw away what we've shared together because of this stupid mistake. I'm sorry. Mistake? You call what I saw a mistake? Yes, look. See, so it's, a, it's a mistake. At the same time, we already. Okay. Let's be honest here. Yes. Is she really your cousin? Uh, yes. It, uh, she's not really my cousin like that. Get out. Get out! This minute! Jared, I'm so shut the fuck up. Get out of my house! Jared, look, we, we can so If you this. don't get out this minute, I will be forced to use the guns on you. So get your nasty self out of this place! Get out! I said get out! My princess, what are your plans with regards to our family company? Should I introduce you to the staff or would you like to work in the company till I'm retired? And that will be a wonderful idea for her to handle the family business. Father, mother, please permit me to tell you that I will not be working with a family company. And I am not ready to take over from you either. Why is that? Listen, we need to get something straight here. I sent you abroad for you to see the world and not for you to change who you are. You don't dress like a princess all the time when you leave the palace. And you're here trying to deny your responsibility. Don't get me angry. My princess, the fact that you studied estate management cannot, in fact, will never stop you from handling the family business. It's our empire we're talking about here for Christ's sake. Mother, why can't I be allowed to own my own business? Do I really have to inherit the family business? Do I really have to do that? Until when you start to think and behave like a royal blood. I don't want to hear this conversation any longer. Yes, Father. I was going for a walk before you sent for me. I bet to take my leave. Please forgive her manners. I'm so sorry about that. My dear, send for me. Yes, my dear. We had a discussion earlier when you were not around. I decided to bring it to your notice. Sure, there is no problem, I think. No, not at all. I have decided to hand over the family company to the princess. I don't understand, my king. What the king is trying to say is... Hold it there! What are you trying to explain? I was just trying to explain that the king... Explain what? That you made the king hand over everything to your daughter? Is that what you're finding so difficult to explain? Okay, stop. You are my youngest wife. And your son is still very young. My son is still very young. Does that mean he got nothing? That is not what he is saying. Shut up. I wasn't talking to you. Will you stop it? You don't talk to your senior like that. 
She is a queen just like you. And like I said, your son is still very young. Why can't I handle my son's share of the business until he gets of age? That is impossible. I am still alive. I am not sharing my property yet. You are part of this family. And you have the right over the company. But the difference here is that the princess will run the company while we give her all our support. Your Highness, my problem is how we are going to handle the peace of this family. Don't worry about that. She will come around. Are you mad? Till I go to work, I don't want to So Nana, you got to bring my food, Abi. Now every the whole world can't finish. Got to bring my food. You want make hunger kill me, Abi? It's your camo. It's your camo. Nana, you got to bring my food. Eh? You want make a day, Abi? You want make a day, Abi? Idiot. Oh, I'm just going to talk with that one now. Okay, you know that they give many people food. They are the your mouth, Abi. You they are the your mouth. I don't my mouth, Abby. You yeah, talk to me, I don't my mouth. So now you come to cook this poison, they give me say the food, Abby. Since yesterday, uh, better they put me. Eh? Come to cook. I, I be stupid. You are very stupid. Are you ready to eat or not? See, Peter. I am stupid. But let me tell you, ask you, if this food is not sweet, you better tell me, make a cocoma go outside there. Go buy bread, chop. Go my belly. If this food ready is... to eat. Come to the kitchen and Come, 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 come. <laughs> we think they go play with you again. <laughs> like, you are walking home to the whenever you wrap your face, you go fine. Oh, this was sweet. Come back here. Who prepared this food? I did, my queen, I'm sorry. So you actually opened your mouth to admit that you made this rubbish called food? Get out here, prepare me something nice to eat. Jack, eat this cake. What is wrong with the food? Since you can't cook, I eat my fault. At least you should know when food is tasteless. But the food tastes very nice. Excuse me. My friends, yes, sir. You are not the one of my friends.
Father, what is the problem? No, there's no problem. She will be fine. Mm -hmm. Let's let's eat. Oh. your nonsense. I don't know why you're ranting like a dog. I don't know what you want. You see the drama today? In honesty, I'm not doing this. Who is ranting? I've told you I will not sit by and watch you because I know you are the one that made the king hand over everything to, to your daughter and I will not sit by and see this happen in this house. I am telling you, Eric. I am warning you else. Else what? What can you do? What can I do? Why are you ranting? Saying nonsense, is it because I've been quiet? What exactly are you even fighting for? You are fighting for something that does not belong to you. Fighting for a son that does not belong to this family? You think I don't know? Is it because I've been quiet? You've been rendering your insult as much as your energy can give you and I've been quiet? Oh. Is that why you think oh. that you can come in here ranting like a madman? Now, hey, 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 hey. Now, now listen to me very well. You should know your position in this house. Are you talking about position? Were you there good when the king took me as his wife? When you know you have a son already? Let me tell you, one day my son will rule over you. Yes. A hungry person will never remain hungry. What nonsense are you ever talking about? Where could you have been if I didn't pick you from the gutters and brought you here with your bastard son? Where could you have been, my hey, dear? I am warning you, this should be the last time I will warn you. I am telling you now, make sure you resist from this. As if you have the power I have to told you, I have told you, Ellie. Ellie, I have told you because you will see what I will do to you. I am not in the category. I said you will see what I, I will do to you. You, you have beat nothing. Two. You beat two. You have nothing. And you will never be. How can you quiet it? over a bastard that don't know his father? Over you. someone that doesn't even know him. But I will Keep quiet. He will Did I tell you something? What is that? That girl. The last time I came here with my girlfriend, uh, we bought something that I'm trying to leave. Mistakenly, I brushed her and I apologized immediately. But then, the girl flared up that I'm stupid, am I mad? Uh, that that why, why would I do that? Am I fine? I'm like, hey, girl. Take a chill pill, I just apologize. You know, I got angry too and I call her stupid. She flared up like I'm mad and I'm imbecile and this and stupid and yeah. I'm like, girl, why are you sounding so bitter? But that sounds like an accident. The both of you should have just apologized to each other and walk out. Exactly what I did, I apologized. But then she she acted like a mad person that day, man. I can't do it. But she doesn't look that way. She looks like someone that needs help. Why don't you just go say hi? Me? Hmm? Say hi. Why? Why? Not bad. I'm not serious. My dear. See how you find. Hey, may I ask you, eh, why you don't want to marry me? Hey, may I ask you, why you don't want to marry me? Eh? One day I go make calm. Go, 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 go. So, of all people in this world, like of all people in this world, I should marry you. I should marry you. I dare your class. Eh? Bless you, you know the fear face. You know the fear face. Fear face is what? Which face? I did. <laughs> Only you will no know my value. They talk and say gold is for those who knows the value. See, if I go outside, across, one go buy bread or beans, 
If you see all these fire fire gears, pin up, pin on, they look at me. Hey, look at this as some man. Look at this. Hey. So because of me and you, they yeah, make a call the TV this, Abby. You don't know my value. They make you come to talk this thing. And you are still single. Gabriel. Eh? Gabriel. Gabriel, leave me alone. No. I'll report you to the king. Go. I will report you. <laughs> Sorry, now. Nah. Sorry, now. Nah. <laughs> um, I want to ask you, eh? Why princess? Why princess? They, they, every time you see them this time around, they, they have in the vest. In the look, in the make face like a monkey. What is that? Because I say, make I ask you because now you're inside. I put it down. She's inside. Go and ask her yourself. <laughs> I don't hear anything though. Know. <laughs> my friend, go back to your duty post. Talk at you. Say, Baba, I'm say, Mama, for me, and they have your problem. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that will be easy, but it's okay by me. Please be calm. Everything will be fine. Good. Thank you. Um, breakfast is served. Will you join us at the table? No. I would love to have my meal. Okay, I will. I will search for it. Thank you. Excuse me. I already told you not to worry about her. She's just angry. She will come around. How soon, Father? You have to do something, please. You really need to see the way these two get at each other. It's scary. Please, Father, do something about it. It's okay, my princess. But we still have to do what is important. I think what is important now is family. You thought me that family is very important and must come first at all times. Father, please, look into the issues between these two before it gets out of hand. I don't know if this fight will ever end. I don't think so, my dear. But we can always wish. She sounds really upset, Father. I'm begging you. I know you're a wise king. Do something. It's all right, my princess. I'll do something about this. I need to rest now. Thank you so much. Oh. Ah. Oh. Rabia. I'm sweet. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, oh, I'm here. You're welcome. Thank you. you. You didn't tell me you were coming. Yes, I did tell you because I, I know if I tell you that I'm coming, you will not even want me to come. You will start giving me one excuse or another. So that's why I took you on our way. I guess you told Debbie then. I didn't even tell her. Oh, really? Yes. Let me tell Debbie you're here. Debbie! Debbie! Yes. 
Auntie, you're warm. You're, you're looking good. Thank you. You, you didn't tell anyone you're coming. Exactly what I just asked. That's what I just told him that I didn't even let anybody know that I am coming. I did not even tell anybody because I want to take him on a word. But if I tell him I'm coming, he will start giving me one excuse or the other not to come. So that's why I decided to come. You're welcome. Thank you. So how are you? How? And I'm not happy. I am not happy. Who made my auntie angry? No, you. Rumi, I want to ask you, why are you not married yet? No. Is it money? Tell me, you want to get to 70 years before you get married? Or is there anything you're not telling me? See, let me tell you. I have the whole time in the world to spend here today. So tell me. I'm all ears. I'm listening. Well, the truth is that I'm not ready for marriage yet because I need to prepare my mind back. I need to, you know, get strong to venture into marriage institution because it's not something I... I need to just go in like that with the things I've seen around me lately. Can you can you just hear him? Can you just hear him? You are not you are not yet ready and this and that. So tell me, if your parents were to be alive today and just heard you, what you just said now. So I don't know how you want them to react over this thing you just said that you are not yet ready. Auntie, you not understand. I've seen a whole lot lately. I feel betrayed. I feel heartbreak. Uh, I've seen a whole lot. I've seen a whole lot. Okay, fine. I'm going to tell you. Since you've got all the time in the world, I'm going to tell you. No disrespect. Go ahead. I met this girl. You know, we've been dating for quite some time. Debbie knows her. She comes here. But then... Baby. I need a new car. I mean, I don't like that my old car anymore. But I just got that one six months ago. That was six months ago. I need a new one. Please. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to my account officer. We'll, we'll work it out then. Mm -hmm. You were done. Hello, hello. I told you not to call me. I'm yet to steal those documents. You know what? Why don't we just kidnap him? I mean, I can arrange that to happen. Romeo loves me a lot and can do anything for me. You know I don't love him and I want to... I can't wait to live here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Bye. Talking to and which of the Romeo are you planning on kidnapping? Yeah, I can explain. You can explain. Yeah. You are actually planning to kidnap me. Please, I can explain, okay? You saw what you did. Oh my God, Angela. was what we are passing through. I'm so sorry. Well, it's okay, Auntie. That's, that's one of those things you pass through in life uh, that makes you stronger and strengthens you. You see, and for the fact that happened, it made me see women as, as demons, for real. Excuse me? Yes. Women. Demonic? Demonic. You mean, nice. you mean Debbie and I here that were also demonic too? No, you don't, you don't even have to say that. You people are different. I'm talking about 
people you don't know that comes to your life in in the sense that they are coming to be to be good to you but then they are coming for something different let me ask you david if somebody else just even said this thing now that you just said i don't know how you will feel david is a growing girl that one of these days she will be ready so this thing you're saying demonic is not even the right thing to say let me tell you we we'll have some good girls and cultured girls out there it's just that you have not got an opportunity to meet them please Auntie, how will you know that they are cultured and well-mannered because at first they will act like angels but then when they come into your life you see they will show you the real color oh, oh. that's the problem you don't even know the real person right now they will all act angelic all caring all kind but then Romeo please can you give love a chance can you give love a chance I pray this evil thought of yours will go off your mind someday and to thank you very much for everything I believe my brother will someday find love and learn to trust thank you I believe so thank you. exactly time is what I need so you shouldn't please there is no more time there is no more time I just wanted to get married today, tomorrow, please. I'm being just being consigned, you know, since after the death of your parents. You and uh, David, you are my closest family. And I will not even stand here and watch things go wrong. Please, that's why I'm being consigned. So what did you get from me? Is everything all right? Yes, mother. But I want us to discuss something. I don't know if we can do it now. Okay, go on. I'm all ears. Mother. Yes? It's about our discussion the last time concerning the family business. Please. It's not as if I am being stubborn or something. I just want to establish something on my own. I just want to do something different, mother. Please, please understand me. Princess, it's not as if I don't understand you. But I want you also to understand that we are talking about our family business. I mean the family empire here. Would you rather prefer your father go out there and get a random person to manage this company when you know that you are capable of handling it when your father steps down. Would you rather prefer it that way? That is not what I meant, mother. Oh. What if I run my own firm and the family business as well? How about that? All I want, mother, is to establish something now that my father is still handling the family business. Please. So do you think you're capable of handling that? Don't you think that will be too much for you? Do you even understand that you are a woman? That someday you will get married and decide to have children? In your own capacity, do you think you'll be able to manage your marriage, the children, this family, your company, and the entire family business? Do you think you can, you can handle that? Is that what you think? Mother. I understand you're concerned about me. Thank you. Please leave that to me. Mm. I want to beg you for something. Let's yes, talk. Please, can you help me and talk to Dad? Make him see reasons with me. Make, make, make him understand me. Princess? Okay, I will talk to your father, but... Don't ask me for another favor because this is the last time I'm going to do this. I cross my heart, Mother. Thank you so much.
This place is beloved, so why don't you get there? Now so here, what do I need love for? Don't mind me. Well, I will get a lover when I'm ready to get one. Okay, speaking of which, look who is here. To your right. She looks happy today, though. Ja bless anyone that put her in that mood today. I've told you, she might not really be that bad. Just talk to her. Talk to her? Mm -hmm. About what exactly? Now, what do you want me to tell her? I have a plan. Come closer. Hell no. Why? Why? Why would I do that? You're right. Why don't we start by knowing where she stays? Why are you so keen on this girl, though? I, I don't understand. I like her. She looks nice. Okay, I'll do that crazy game with you, then. <laughs> so I'm thinking of changing the kitchen settings. What do you think? It's okay by me. It's just that you've always been busy. Wait. I hope you're not planning on leaving all this work for me. Well, not necessary. Yeah, no, I'm not. That place looks exactly like a palace. You're thinking what I'm thinking. You mean if she's a princess or what? This game is getting more interesting. What is your next move now? I don't know. I'm thinking of dropping. Don't even think about it. You're not. So what will I do then? Go on with the plan. Hell no, sis. Which plan? I don't know this lady. I told you this before. I don't know her. See this as an opportunity. You will like it, trust me, you enjoy every bit of it. This is crazy. Can I at least think about this plan of yours? No, you're not thinking about it. We're in this together. No. <laughs> you're becoming so annoying. I know. So, why don't we just get something to eat? I'm tired already. Long live your highness. My son, sir. My queen. My lady. You look so beautiful. Your highness, I came to. I want us to discuss something important, may I? You can speak freely, my queen. It's about our daughter and the company. She said um, she has one or two things to tidy up before she joins uh, the family business fully. So what happens to the family business? Is you're still in charge of that business. Why not allow her to do whatever it is that she wants to do before joining in fully? Please. That will be too much on her. Didn't you tell her that? I did. And she gave me her word. Please trust her for, for a while. I will give you the thought. Thank you so much, Your Highness. Let me go back to what I was doing before I came in here. Thank you.
I think it's time we told her. Please go and call the princess. I told her. Yes, I think. Call the princess. Thank you so much for having us. Father, Mother, you signed for me. Hope there is no problem. Not at all, my daughter. Your mother and I have decided to give you the chance to make your own establishment. <sighs> And we are confident that you will never let us down. Father! And I have also told your father that you made up your mind to take over the family business. Mother! Yes. Father, on my honor, I promise not to disappoint both of you. I will do my best. I know. I trust you. <laughs> and this calls for celebration. Yes. <laughs> Paste it at the gate. I need a new cook in this palace. 
I'm tired of eating the rubbish he's been preparing. You may leave. Yes, my queen, I'll do that right away. Just go and tell that little of a girl to prepare something nice to see. How may I help you? Good afternoon, sir. See, if you are here to bed, the thing no go work because the king no there. So just go. No, no, sir. We are not here to beg. We are here to see the queen. Oh, just we can tell you, say the king no there. Come back and to Queen Abi. Hey, it is a girlfriend. Okay, the queen no there. Even princess itself no there. But can we come in and wait? Are you mad? You know they hear what? Are you deaf? See, make I tell you, eh? Nabi be the chief security of this compound, eh? Nabi have the right to open the gate for anybody to come in. Even the king himself, no, no. Please, who are you looking for? Now, what did I ask them? Help me put put mato. Um, sorry, good afternoon. Yeah. We're, we're here to see the queen. Uh, oh. We came in respect of the chef job. We, we applied for the position of a cook in the palace. Oh, the queen would like to meet you guys. Please come in. No, no, no. Are, are you okay? So oh, they do your own work now. They do my own, Abi. He just a clown. It, yeah, I just, see, eh, this guy. I, I, hey, hey, they don't want to slap this thing when they shake like this. They don't want to slap her. Eh? Your Majesty, these people wants to see you. They are the ones that applied for the position of the cook. So, what's your name? And who among you is the cook? Oh, my name is Peter. And she's my assistant. Her name is Peace. We're from River State, ma'am. Have you served any royal family before? Ah, uh, Your Majesty, I haven't really rendered my um, services that, that much. Uh, but uh, my late grandmother who was a cook, a very big, well-known cook in my state. I'm same with my late mother and then me. So uh, good cooking is in the genes, is in the family uh, lineage. Don't you think this is a risk? You know, we do everything in order in this palace and we cook our food in Numba. So, why not leave now? My queen, please. Yeah? Please, we really need this job. We are good cooks. Yes. Yeah? And, and, and please give us a chance. A try will convince you, please. Please, Your Majesty. Not disappoint you. A try, you see. Okay? I will give you a try. But any little mistake, your heart here. Do you get that? Rita. Take them to the room and show them around the kitchen. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. One more thing. Is it alright? I love my food to be served on time. And if you have any challenges, feel free to ask. You can easily. Thank you. Follow me. Follow me. That does the question. I want to suggest, let us invite this people. Let us invite the investors. Let us have their proposals and find out how far they have been going. You have all made your point. And I must say that you have spoken well and well. You can walk and take that one. But I think. We still need to sleep overnight. And make sure we are confident of every decision we are making. Because we still need to hear from the investors again. In that case, Your Majesty, the youths are proud of you. We are so happy the way you are moving our community forward. May the Lord bless you the more. Um, you tweet that. Let me pick it from there. I'm, I'm really very happy. And that's why other communities are jealous of us. We have a vibrant Igwe who knows how to attract a lot of good things to our community. 
a man of great wisdom. When the, when the God's beginning to be with you, guide and prosper you, but want you to leave a legacy that generations of born. We always look up and say, there was a time we have an email like you. We are grateful to have you. What do you expect? What do you expect? And when you have a wise and noble people like this, our God. Just look at the kingdoms around us. Eh? You will find out that we are 10 steps ahead of them. Even more than 10 steps. Igwe, I thank you. May all your enemies come to you. I am happy that you are all happy. And I pray that we live long enough to eat and drink from our hard works. Speaking of it, the queen has something for us. Hey! I said it. I said it. That's why every single day I know that I'm coming to visit my new way. I don't get anything from the house. <laughs> because I know there is always a lot of many men. I know you need too much. We can't wait. Let the many men begin. Now, now. Enough sleep last night. Can mm. someone sleep? Eh? Maybe I should just go and tell the queen that we are no longer interested in this work. Sure, I'm no longer interested. Are you not the one that put me into this? And uh, don't forget to tell her that one too that you put me into this. Yeah, I learned that the princess is back from her trip. Yes, and her first breakfast will be made by me. I'll make sure I have plenty of sugar that the people will have to send us home. You are evil. Hey, now, I'm only trying to make it fast for us to go. I shall go, go to the kitchen, let's make it. Who are you? My name is Peter. I'm the new palace cook. How long have you been working here? I started last week. You weren't around when I when I started. So? How was your trip? Excuse me? I do the questioning, not the other way around. I only asked you. How long have you been working here? Oh, I'm, I'm deeply sorry. That will not happen again. Peter, where did you learn your skills? I learned from my late mother. She was a great cook. That is not enough. This is a palace. And you must make sure you do not serve us poison by serving us Neat meals, healthy and tasty ones. Do you understand me? Yes, my princess. I, I will not save you poison. You better not. Leave. Gabriel, here's your food and water. You don't get respect. You don't get respect. Eh? I didn't ask you. What do you mean? You asked me what, what did I mean? Eh? 
What did happen to your mouth if you put a sack or chief security? Have you met? Okay. Maybe next time. Sir Chief Security. Where, where do you think I'm going? How many do you put here? You're holding it, which means you can actually open it to look at it. Jesus! Only one meat. Why? A chief security like me? Eh? Gabriel, if you have any problem with the food or meat, why not tell the queen? See, when we came here, Rita said that you're to be served just one meat. One meat with half bottle of water. Rita, I, I know I talk um, that witch. So that witch asked you to put one meat for me. If you can't she's the one that put this one meat for me. This meat that looks like Sinkard. Eh? Uh, this meat that looks like Sinkard, put it for me. Come on, come on, come on. If you don't want to eat it there, eh? I can take it. Come on, slap you. You look like if I if I speak. I spoke with the king concerning what I talked to you about. Yeah, he agreed to the conditions. But I still wanted to act as I that is funny. That is funny. I'm happy things have started falling back to place in this house. But you know I love you. I love you very well. I love you more, my queen. I, I just want all of us to be happy. I just want everything to fall back in place mm. and yeah. What do you think about this good guy? At least we started eating something nice in this house. Queen Mother! Ah, it's true now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Queen Mother! Queen Nonsense. A hungry person will ever remain hungry. What nonsense are you even talking about? Where could you have been if I didn't pick you from the gutters? And brought you here with your bastard son. Where could you have been, my Helen, dear? I am warning you. This should be the last time I will warn you. I am telling you now. Make sure you resist from this. As if you have the power I've to I've told you. I have told you, Ellen. Ellen, I have told you because you will see what I will do to you. I am not in the category I of said you will see what I, I will do to you. You have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. You will never be. How the quiet. Over a bastard who don't know his father. Over someone that doesn't even know him. Get quiet! He will ruin you. Why can't I handle my son's share of the business until he gets of age? That is impossible. I am still alive. I am not sharing my property yet. You are part of this family. And you have the right over the company. But the difference here is that the princess will run the company. My queen, please, can we maintain the peaceful atmosphere that existed in this home for a long time now? I beg of you. It's not just about me. It's about the king, your mother and I. I believe your mom must have told you why I am angry. Yes, she did. Good. I will talk to my mother. I will also talk to the king. All I am asking is that we get back to the way we used to be as a family. Please, I'm begging you. I don't think that will be easy. But it's okay by me. Please be kind. Everything will be fine. Good. Thank you. Um, What rubbish. So because my son is not a royal blood, he can't own a family business. But he is still young. Even at that. So the princess had to talk to the king before he could do something. That's an insult to my person. What should I do now?
You can't fix your presence now. You may leave. Will I tell my son when he grows up? You and I knows that he's not a royal blood. And I don't want him to be left with nothing. On that premise, I have made provision for you and him. Remember when I first met you, I promised to take good care of you and your son. I will keep to my words, because my word is my bond. Thank you very much, my king. I really appreciate it. Are you at the look for? Look, hey, stop, 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 stop there. What do you make you come tell the new cook to put only one meat for me? No, be only one meat. Oh, that meat will look like sinker. See, Gabriel. Gabriel, please, I'm not in the mood for this your drama. I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood? Yes, I'm not in the mood. See? I have work to do if you don't have any. Okay, make I ask you. What thing I do you for this palace? I don't like you again. I don't love you again. Ba, 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 ba. I can see you're mad. See, see, leave me alone in this I palace. I can oh. see you're mad. I'm mad. Me and you, who is disturbing each other in this palace? Eh? Now listen, let me tell you. Next time, I repeat, next time you bother me in this palace again, I will definitely report you to the queen. I will report you to the queen. You know who I am? I go beat you black and blue. Let you pop. Are you mad? Eh? Look at you, idiot. You call yourself a guy. Not if you cannot even have to cook to uh, wash your clothes. Even you can't bed finish. Even you can't bath your down below. Your triangular up here is smelling. Idiot. You are looking a chief security officer in this house. Let me look for that new cook. That girl is fine. Very portable waist. Let me go look for her. <laughs> idiot. I have really thought about our last meeting and I think it's a good idea if we invite the investors over and have a word with them. That would be wonderful, my king. And when are we expecting to hear from them, my king? Very soon I will call a meeting so that others will know about it. My lawyer will also be present. Wow, that would be great. You see, my king, the youth are solidly behind you. And we do anything we can to support your wonderful plans, my king. Thank you. You said you are getting married. Oh. How are you planning that? <laughs> my king, the wedding is in two months' time. And we are putting all kinds of preparations in place. <laughs> if you need anything, just don't hesitate to come. Um, my king, let me take it again. I'm here at your house. something. This is my house. My father's house. And I have every right to walk into anywhere and everywhere in it. Do you have any problem with that? No, absolutely no problem. And I'm not disputing the fact that this is your father's house. Just that I'm concerned about your well-being. I'm actually asking if you want anything so I can help you. I'm only concerned about your welfare. I don't want you to injure yourself. The Queen will blame me for that. So I ask again, do you want me to help you with anything? I can gladly do that for you. I think I've seen you somewhere. Have we met before? I'm not sure you've met a chef like me. But then, it will be every man's dream to meet 
a pretty woman like you. There is something about you. I really can't figure it out. But I feel that I've met you somewhere before. Good afternoon, my dear. Good afternoon. Do you need anything? A glass of milk. Bring it to my room. <laughs> Oh God. Are you silly? Why are you sounding so bitter, girl? I just said I'm sorry. Are you stupid? Or are you just seeking for attention? Excuse you? Seek attention from you? Do you know who I am? Who the hell are you? You are stupid. Please get out of my mouth. You are imbecile. Get out! Can you imagine this? Because I just said I'm. Okay, who the hell is this bitch? What's wrong with you? Why suck it to my man like that? Are it's you okay? Saying? It's okay. I've sent you once I've finished. And I won't give it to Crazy you. Crazy bitch. Slut. What were you two talking about? None that you will want to know. Are we keeping secrets now? Don't worry, I'll come back. I got my eyes on you. I got my eyes on you too. Uh, greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, my friends. Is everything okay? All is well, my queen. Where is the princess? She is in her room. Um, should I call her? No. Just allow her to rest. But don't forget to inform her that I have invited the investors. They will be here at 9 o'clock tomorrow. The elders in council will also be here, as well as the lawyer. So her presence is urgently needed. Okay, I will inform her. And I will also make sure I get the kitchen ready. You always do that. And I love you more when you do so. You have such a good heart. Thank you, Your Highness. You are a wise king, a caring father, and a loving husband. I love you too. I will not be all of that if not for you. So thank you, my queen. Please let me go and get everything ready. I'm going to have a bit of tomorrow. Thank you. How dare you? How dare you tamper with my work papers? Have you gone nuts or something? Does this place look like the kitchen? Since I thought you were done reading, I was just trying to help you back then. Please, I'm sorry. Drop it. Get lost and don't ever get your lousy self close to my work papers again. Get out! She didn't mean to shout at you. Don't worry, she'll come around. You needed to see her eyes. She was a total different person. I can only imagine that part. But don't worry. Have you had anything to eat? I haven't. I was just trying to eat before. Before that, and now I've lost my appetite. You have to eat. Yeah? Trust me, she'll come around. Okay. What would you like to eat? Would you like cucumber and Pepsi? Stop that. Don't worry. Trust me, when she comes around, you won't be doing other things. You won't even remember what you did. Don't worry, it's all right now. But why, why is she behaving like that? I mean, that's uncalled for. 
Ivy, sorry. Please, let's go inside. Come and eat. Huh? Oh, my, my princess, do you do you want anything? Can we talk? Oh, I can just go and prepare anything you want right now. Actually, I don't want anything. I just want us to talk, please. Talk. Okay, it's it's about what happened this morning. I I shouldn't have shouted at you the way I did. Honestly, I am sorry. Just that I have lots of workload on my head. Oh. Sometimes I get angered, sometimes I get frustrated, and you know, it's not been easy. I am sorry, please. Um, I'm, I'm equally sorry. I'm equally sorry. Uh, you know, I thought that you were done with the books. So I was just trying to help you pack it because of rain and breeze um, scattering your stuff. So I, I, I didn't know that that would make you angry. Please forgive me too. It's okay. I should be the one to apologize to you. On no account should I have shouted at you the way I did this morning. No, my princess, you don't need to apologize. I'm a nobody. It's, it's nothing. But by the way, you, you said you've got um, so many workloads on your mind. Is it something you would want to share? I, I could be of help. <laughs> you never can tell. It's about family. It's a family business. Oh. Actually, my father expects me to take over from him as soon as possible. On the other end, I want to own and run my own firm as well. So you see, I have two companies to run. And it's not really been easy and all, but I can do this. I can. Okay. So, um, what, what kind of business is that that you want to? Oh, it's it's about um, estate management. I want it big, very big. Oh, estate management. Yeah. I, I know. I know a friend, a friend of mine, who uh, who um, has very big company. Estate management, he has plenty, plenty houses. So sometimes I do visit him and I, I learned a little of how he does the estate management thing. So I think I can help you with a little where I can. Are you, you sure you can? Yes, why not? I can. If you doubt me, we can start tomorrow after work. That will gladden my heart. You're Thank welcome. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, ma. Tomorrow then? Tomorrow. We we'll start. I call for this meeting because I want everyone to be a witness to this. Kate, here is the file. The document in it is as a result of 20% of the company share that was given to you and your son. Also, two estate has been added to your share. Take it, sign it, and forward it to the company lawyer. Thank you very much, my king. My son and I really appreciate your kind gesture, but we refuse, my king. And why? We talked about this, remember? And you told me you were okay with it. I am not refusing because I want to. I am only refusing because this family has done so well for my son and I. We really appreciate all the kind gesture this family has given to us. I am no longer interested in the 20% share of this family. I am part and parcel of this family, be a one. So why should I? Please forgive me. I beg for your forgiveness, my king. Please, I am sorry. I want to also say I'm very sorry for pushing you this hard. So sorry if I, uh, if I misunderstood you. I want to also beg for forgiveness. I'm sorry too. My queen, I am so proud of you. Thank you so much for your understanding. 
Is this really happening? Well, baby says, you're not the only one that have got good news. I've got one as well. Okay, sure. All right. The princess, the princess mm. came to apologize. I told you. That's not all. Okay. She also told me that she wants to dive into real estate management. And wow. I... Wow, but that's what your company do. You're so fast, sister. I'm not done. Okay, so she said, I'm going to help her start up her own company. Did you tell her you have a company? No, how will I do such a thing? I told her it's my friend's company, and my friend is going to help her with the process. Okay, speaking of which, your friend, which is your company's manager, just called to tell you that you have one month. I mean, your one month vacation is over. You have just one week left. Finish up what you're doing here and get back to work. Oh, well, looks like my absence have made him got so much balls right now to speak to his boss anyhow. Well, he shouldn't forget that I make the payments. I pay him salary every month. Yeah. And I decide when to come back to work. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what is going on between you and the cook. Mother, that boy is not just the cook. He's intelligent, he's smart, he's wonderful. You won't believe he's the one handling my project, mother. And what does the cook know about your project? You won't believe it. He's doing a great job, mother, honestly. I am happy I met him. He's doing a great job for me. Honestly. Greetings, Father. Greetings, my princess. Is anything eating you up? I've been finding it very difficult to interpret your mood lately. Father. You have this kingdom and so many businesses to worry about, not me. Well, I have always known you to be a strong woman, a woman of substance. Whatever it is, I know you can handle it. But always remember that you are real. Thank you so much, Father. You're welcome. I love you too much. <laughs> I love you too. Has he been able to open up to you? Mm. No. Uh, our acts have been kids. You know, they are very close. Maybe she must have told her something. I sure will find out. Please do and let me know. I will, Your Highness. Please do and let me know. 
Ashobi. Has she been able to tell you anything? She hasn't. But I'm suspecting her emotional swing with Peter the Coco. It's either she's in love with him or there's something there to tell him. Seems you have forgotten you are royalty. Whatever it is, discard it in the royal trash can. Now leave my presence. I said leave my presence. with your friend we talked about. Yeah, I'll be showing my father the project and I think we should meet up and discuss about it. Oh, that's, that's great. I, I will make the preparations then. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, I'll be in my room. All right. You're such a sweet soul. And I think I like you a lot. Is that okay by you? Yeah. That is okay. I like you too. And I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've been thinking. Don't you think you should start up a business of your own? Trust me, you will do marvelously well. That, that's a good idea. But you know, everything boils down to money. Um, starting up a business requires money. But I'll think about it. Okay, that's okay. Um, once I'm done with my project, I'll fix something up for you. Thank you very much. It's I'm okay. very grateful. It's okay. Thank you. No, thanks. I'll be in my room. So I'll see you later. Thank you. Sleeping, and you have a long day tomorrow. Debbie, I'm scared. I'm confused. Yeah, me too. But she still needs to know. I am. I am scared of losing her. I don't want her to feel disappointed. I, w I wish you could understand how I feel. Yeah. I think what you're doing is the right thing. If she likes you, she will understand why you did what you did. We'll be leaving very early tomorrow morning. You really need this sleep. Please. Okay. Go to bed. I'll, I'll try and catch some sleep. Please. Try and sleep. Okay? It's alright. Go to bed. Good night. Okay, um, hmm. right, now I'm going to press, press. And um, uh, <laughs> this memo seems to be written by a professional. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Mark. Uh, um, the company will be working with 
whatever thing that is given to us by you. Um, I'll be expecting to hear good news from you because my friend actually speak good of this company and your competence. Mm. Oh, well, who is this your friend that you keep talking about? I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> when next I come, believe me, you will meet him. Okay. Awesome. What about your director? Oh, he had another meeting. Don't worry, the next time you come, you definitely meet him. Okay. I will show deliver the remote to him. Thank you. I'll Take care of yourself. Mother! <laughs> Mother! This is, what is this segment all about? What's going on? What is it? Mother, yes. you won't believe it. Believe what? Mother, one big company just approved of my project. Whoa. Oh, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Peter prepared the memo and they approved of it. Oh, this is good. Uh, your father needs to hear this. In fact, this calls for a big celebration. Of course, mother. <laughs> but I need to tell Peter about this. Well, uh, that would not be necessary anyway. Why not, mother? I just want to tell him about it, that's all. Um, Peter got a uh, message that the mother is very sick, so he left for the village this morning. It's okay. Did you tell him when he'll be coming back? Mm, he didn't really say, but right now what is important is that we need to tell your father about this good news. Come on, let's go. Your father needs to hear this. Let's go. Let's go. He's upstairs. Your father needs to hear Today. I celebrate my daughter, the princess of this kingdom, as she launches her new company. To support her in her new venture, my wife and I have decided to give her three buses. One from each of us for her staff. In addition to that, the first staff to move and work with her will have the privilege to live in one of our estates. And the meeting is meant to be in two days time. But what am I supposed to tell her? That you're right. But I think it's time for you to face the reality. She's been calling me since morning. I don't know what else to say to her. You can't keep telling her lies. You just need to prepare for the meeting. Oh, God. I just, I just feel like running away. You wish. You die yet. Just relax. What is the problem? You look very worried. Is everything okay? I've been calling Peter, but he's not been taking my calls. I am scared. I don't know if anything bad has happened at home. Mother said his mom is sick. I just wanted to know if I would be of any help. I understand. But we don't have his house address, neither do we have any family member's number. What about Peace? She has a phone, right? I only have Peter's phone number. But don't worry, I will check on that for you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You look pale. You need to eat something. Remember you have meeting too. I will. Okay. Should I call the maids to prepare something for you? I'll send for them if I need them. Okay. Don't worry. I'll be there. Okay. If you need anything, just let me. I'll see you. Yeah.
You will be dashing. Hope you're ready for the big day. Thank you. So I was thinking, should I tell her everything on the phone? Worst. Don't even think about that. Think so? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get going then. All right. Ladies first. Thank you. Oh, madam, meet the managing director of this company. What is going on here? Peter! Sir, who did you say you were? Please have a seat, we have a whole lot to talk about. Of course I will not. You left the house without a word. You left because you said your mother was sick. And here you are. Please, if you will take a chill pill, I have a whole lot to explain to you. Please, kindly have a seat. No, I will not. Because I know you are planning on how to cook another cheap light to tell. No, my princess, please, just hear him out. He has a lot to tell you, please. Did he also pay you to do this? No, not at all. She's my younger sister. My personal assistant. What is this? That is why I said you need to... Take a chill pill for real. Don't be up in a hill. I have a whole lot to explain to you, please. Cherish. 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 You need to rest. Where is the princess? She's in her room, my queen. She has been in her room since yesterday. Which simply means that she has not eaten since yesterday and you didn't bother to tell me? I'm sorry, my queen. I thought she would come out this morning. You thought? I'm sorry, my queen. Leave. Who is there? Is me your mother? I don't want to talk to your mother. Please open the now. Please go away. On no account should I have shouted at you the way I did this morning. No, my princess, you don't need to apologize. I'm a nobody. It's, it's nothing. But by the way, you, you said you've got um, so many workloads on your mind. Is it something you would want to share? I, I could be of help. You never can tell. It's about family. It's a family business. Oh. Actually, my father expects me to take over from him as soon as possible. On the other end, I want to own and run my own firm as well. So you see, I have two companies to run, and it's not really been easy and all, but I can do this. I can. Okay, so um, what, what kind of business is that that you want to... Oh, it's, it's about um, estate management. I want it big, very big. Oh, estate management. Yeah. I know, I know a friend, a friend of mine who uh, who um, has very big company, estates management. He has plenty, plenty houses. So sometimes I do visit him, and I I learned a little of how he 
does the estate management thing. So I think I can help you in the little way I can. Are you sure you can? Yes, why not? I can. If you doubt me, we can start tomorrow after work. That will gladden my heart. You're Thank welcome. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, ma. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow. We start. to meet with your friend we talked about. Oh. Yeah, I'll be showing my father the project and I think we should meet up and discuss about it. Oh, that's, that's great. I, I will make the preparations then. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, I'll be in my room. Yeah. You're such a sweet soul. And I think I like you a lot. Is that okay by you? Yeah. That is okay. I like you too. And I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've been thinking. Don't you think you should start up a business of your own? Trust me, you will do marvelously. Because I know you are planning on how to cook another cheap light to tell. No, my princess, please, just hear him out. He has a lot to tell you. Please. Did he 
also pay you to do this? No, not at all. She's my youngest sister. My personal assistant. What is this? That is why I said you need to take a chill pill for me. Don't be up in a hill. I have a whole lot to explain to you, please. Cherish. 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 You need to rest. Hey, not on my mind. I don't even know what to do anymore. You always know what to do. Just follow your feelings. You do. You're right. I always know what to do. And that's exactly what I'm going out to do now. There is something I want to ask you. Go ahead, my princess. If someone lied to you in an honest manner and comes back to ask for forgiveness, are you going to forgive them? <clears throat> well, my daughter, a lie is a lie. But an honest one with the person that comes clean, I think they deserve a second chance. Thank you so much, Father. Indeed, you're a wise king. Forgiving is something we should do always. It's hard, but it's the best thing to do. You are not forgiving because you want to do so, because you want to have your peace of mind. Father, thank you. You're welcome. I feel honored that I am your offspring. For the wisdom you possess is second to none. You are a great father, husband, and a great leader. 
that I have ever known. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Now let me see you put a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, can I take my leave now? Sure. Thank you. Sorry for taking that gross step of faking my identity. You see, um, I didn't mean to lie to you. No, lie to her. Please, forgive me. This is serious. Do you know that you went too far? I know, Your Majesty. Please. Have you spoken to her? I've been ringing her all day. She's not been taking my calls, no. Returning them. Uh, that's part of the reasons I stopped by, so I can see her and, and talk to her. That reminds me. What's that your real name? I mean your name, not the one you gave to us. Uh, my real name is... Romeo Williams. I'm from River State. I lost my parents when I was 17. I've got just one sister, and she's Debbie. Uh, that's the girl I came here to. Oh, peace. Oh, yes, peace. <laughs> yes, peace. So, uh, I'm the managing director of Roy Estate Group of Companies. Wow. Exactly. And I'm single, very much single. You see, ma'am, I love your stepdaughter, Cherish. Please, help me talk to her. With Cherish in my life, I believe I will have a favorable lifespan. That is how much I love her. I know I've wronged her. I've taken that step which is not nice. But I believe if there's no bad deed, there won't be forgiveness. Please. This is serious. No wonder, the first time you step into this palace, I saw something unique about you, but I can't place it. I will try my best. Uh, guess is the way I cook, right? <laughs> Not really, but there's something unique. I just like, ah, this guy. But since nothing is coming, I just let go. But don't worry, I'll try my best. I'll see what I can do about it. I'm going to talk to her. But she has the final say. You know it. Thank you, Majesty. You're welcome. Yes. What do you want me to do? Honestly, I don't know if I should believe any words that comes out of your mouth or not. So I ask again, what exactly do you want? Well, I don't have to blame you for your actions because I haven't been so real to you. But the truth is that everything I did was for a reason. I actually did it to understand the kind of person you are. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for faking my identity, for lying to you and doing all of those you know, things I did in the past. So now I've come to realize one fact, and I know what to do. So what are you going to do? Because you are apologizing to me with a whole lot of smiles on your face. What do you want to do? Don't worry. When we get to the bridge, we are going to cross it together. But I'm only concerned on you telling me that you've forgiven me. Just tell me that you have forgiven me. That will make my soul rest. I'm sorry. Romeo, 
Are you really sorry for what you did? I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. Then you were so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> I am a stubborn princess. Stop. <laughs> I've looked forward to seeing you be super excited. It's written all over you that you're in love. Now tell me, any good news from the princess? Well, uh, she finally gave me her consent, so I told her my mind. Okay, so what's in? The thing is that I'm looking for a concept, uh, yeah, a proposal concept that is really out of place, you get. So, maybe putting the ring in a cake or, you know, making the ring fall from the roof. You know, something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to give you a guideline. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How can you give me a guideline when you've not even been proposed to? <laughs> Don't worry. I watch Nollywood movies. <laughs> so, okay, you're going to teach me from what you learned from Nollywood movies. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always this Romeo. Peter the former cook. What? Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what you say. Uh, but Kate. Yeah. Do you do you trust this man? I think so. It is for the princess to decide. Why you have refused to take my calls for days now? You know, this life is so funny. Who would believe that Mike of all women would be this broken? Well, whoever did this deserves a standing ovation. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! So, uh, we need in two plates of rice, fried rice, then a bottle of lemon wine. I want it tasty, not sour. Two plates of salad, water, that's all. Okay, that's all right. That's all. Okay. Winnie! Oh my God, who am I seeing? Cherish, is this you? Come on here, you look great. <laughs> Great! Thank you! I miss you! you. <laughs> when are you coming to the country? I, um, I've been around for a couple of
couple of months now, and um, I, I came to pick up my lunch. That's you, right. what are you doing here? Well, I own this place. You don't say. Yes, girlfriend. Winnie! I am proud of oh, you. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know what? Why don't you have a street, you know? I've got lots of cheese to give you. I just can't have you. You know I love to hear cheese and all, so... What is it what has been happening? Tell me what's up. Okay. This is the biggest gist for me right now, girlfriend. <laughs> you continue to surprise me. You know it, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I am proud of you. Oh, thank you. Congrats. Congrats. What about Mike? The most important thing right now is that I am doing very fine. And that's for Mike. He's my past. I don't want to talk about him, so let's, let's, let's just... Come on, girlfriend. We shared secrets. You tell me, what happened? We knew. Uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. Right, I'll, I'll tell you all that you want to know, but... I will tell you everything you want to know about Mike and I, okay. but that will be later. As for now, let's discuss business. Okay, maybe say so then. Hello, baby. <laughs> yes, girlfriend. <laughs> Look, I want to establish my own firm very soon, and oh I would love you to come over to the house so we can discuss deeply about this. Wow, that's great. You know, I'll definitely come now. Uh -uh. I will come with full load of Ninja gossip. You know how it is, girlfriend? <laughs> You just cannot change. Oh, please. Let me be number one gossip. <laughs> Chai, this world is very funny. This world is very, very funny. Can you imagine a whole Oka Mike? <laughs> a rich guy like Oka Mike crying for love. <laughs> hey, God. Please, I want the man that is going to cry for my love. Oh, oh big ho. Mm. And I'll be like, hey, Mr. Man, I've dumped you. Don't tell me nonsense. Mika, you bring it to me. This is it. Yeah, I'm done. So let's toast to the good news that I'm about to give to you right now. All right. Cheers to my Cheers success. Again. So my girlfriend, my father, the king has given his consent. Yes. <laughs> Everything is set and my business is about to kick off. I'm super proud of you, girlfriend. I'm very okay. happy. Okay. Um, so tell me about him. Ah, not again. Yes. Okay, like I told you, Michael and I are no longer together. Yeah, you said so. But Mike was a nice guy. Anyways, so don't tell me that my pretty looky princess here is without a man currently. So don't hide your friend. Good day, my princess. Thank you. So you were saying? I say, don't tell me that my pretty looking princess here is without a man currently. So, I'll be good. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, of course, I'm going to be honest with you, you know. Mm -hmm. There is someone I'm actually still putting into consideration. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's handsome, he's smart, he's intelligent, he's everything sweet. But I will tell you once it clicks. Okay, mm -hmm. I have a question. Don't ask anymore. Please, just one question. Please, 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 please. One. Okay. What's his name? His work? His complexion? Is it fair? Is it dark? His height? Is it short? Is it tall? His size? Is it fat? Hey, hey! What? Slow down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you said one question. Well, you asked yeah. ten. Ten in one. You know me. Okay, like I told you, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Not really. But not today. The moment it's okay, so cheers to my success. Cheers, again. darling. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
So how was it, your first day at the office, as the CEO? It wasn't too big, but I am strong, You look bad, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. Thank you so much, brother. to the new CEO who just returned from office at least for the first day. I'm sorry my princess. You're welcome. How was your day? <laughs> That's more like it. Okay, I'll join you soon. You're such a handsome gentleman. How come you're still single? Maybe I have not met the right woman yet. Thank God I met you. So pretty you are. Same. Jessica, what are you doing here this early morning? It's a city of course. It is in past 11 a.m. Do you have any problem with my being here? Yeah, it's so chilled. Don't I deserve a kiss? Are you and what are you doing here? Let's see. No one know the reason Mike is acting up. And I knew I should be the one asking you that. What are you doing in my man's house? You cheap slut. What? How dare you? Are you, are you mad? It? Look at this idiot. What? Excuse me.
Good morning, my dear little baby. How are you doing today? And how is your brother doing? I'm doing very much well, my queen. And my brother is perfectly well. I have an appointment with the princess. Is she in, please? Sure, she's in Aru. Thank you very much. about my daughter's happiness. You're right, Your Highness. I am convinced by his humility. See, despite the fact that that young man is successful, his humility is second to none. Well, let's watch and see. You mean we should support the princess to marry the palace cook? He was a cook in disguise, my king. If we all want the princess happiness, let us give her our support. From the day that young man entered this palace to become a cook, he automatically becomes a member of the royal family, based on his longevity and good works. And now that he has found love in the eyes of the princess, I will give you my royal blessing. <laughs> Father! I'm a son. Father! Anything to make you happy. Father, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm grateful. I love you. <laughs> Getting to meet you has been a very fun job. Strong love feelings. And the funny thing is the way I went about it. I did so many things I never, you know, imagined that I was going to do with my sister. But that shows how much I love you and how much I want you. Today, I want to take that step. That step I know that I won't regret tomorrow. Please, marry me. Thank you. Hello, Thank you.
Well, I, can't I don't have a choice right now. I have to call her to know the whereabouts of the princess. I need you to do me a favor. Fool. She had the guts to tell me that the princess is engaged. Rubbish! This is rubbish. This cannot happen! So I have finally lost her. The door is open. Surprise, I guess. See, Mike, let's just put our differences behind us and make this relationship work. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for everything. I promise to turn in your name. I promise my heart. I love you so much. Sometimes I wonder why I do the things I do. Sorry, what did you say? Never mind. See, we have to talk about this. I know it's about the other girls. Would you ever change, Mike? It seems like you're the only girl who understands me better. Don't worry. Someday you have an answer to that question. Why is the other not here yet? Where is this baby? What's, what's keeping them? This is what I need mean to like. Will you shut up? Are you stupid? Can you imagine that? Shut up! Wow. Was you my kind of girl? Do you know this same thing happened the other day? I guess with the other girls. Get out! You have five minutes to get the other. Speechless. Well, it's my mom. So long as I can have my man whenever I want to. Mm, that's why I like you.
How is your brother Romeo? He's fine, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you two know each other. And you even know Romeo too well. Tell me about it. Well, Romeo and Debbie are my regular customers. We've known each other for years now. What? What's that look? Oh, I get it. Romeo is the man. <laughs> Please, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> we really need to talk. My, I'm so happy to finally meet you. Um, forgive my manners. Meet my fiance. Wow. Babe, that's my my friend. Oh. How come, man? <laughs> This is Rose. You remember Rose? <laughs> She's my wife. Wow, I'm so happy. Like, I'm with you, Fred. Thank you. You are going to stay. So, how was business? I've uh, been going well, thank you. Oh my god, look who we have here! <laughs> oh my girlfriend! <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Guys, let us welcome the latest couple in town. Wow! Hi. You know what? This calls for celebration. Yes. And let us come to you and talk about it. Thank you. Let's all sit down, please. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what I will do, I will do for you. You can tell me where I will go, I will be for you. I so really love you, I really want you. I really love you, I really need you. 